Hey guys, so today it's a little different video than I normally post. It's not drama llama video, but I have $20,000 cash for someone with a black border, black lotus. So it has to be a black border and obviously it has to be a black lotus. Ideally alpha, but beta I will look at as well. The cash is already there. You don't need to worry about the cash. It's coming from me. We can meet at a bank. And I would like the condition. It does not need to be graded. Actually, I would prefer if it was not graded. That's a preference, but obviously grading would make the conditioning easier to look at and be like, oh, this is a real card, which is important, of course. But I would like it to be a BGS 8 or better. Again, it doesn't have to be graded, but if it were graded, that's the grade it would get. $20,000 is a starting point. I don't know where it all depends on the card, right? If the card is a nine, obviously it's going to be a lot more valuable. But if it's a seven, eh, a six. So I've been doing research on black lotuses. And I think 20,000 might be on the lower end and it would be a very good deal for me. But it's 20,000 cash. I'll take, mm, I guess I would take the tax hit here. I don't know how the taxes work. You probably need to report it on your end, but I, I want it. So a BGS two and a half, which is terrible, is about $12,000. And I found a BGS six on TCG player for I think 1800 or 18,000. But I'm assuming TCG player takes what? 10%, 12%, 15% fees on something like that. So actually what the owner gets is probably more along the lines of 16,000 or 15,000 and that it, and it's been sitting there forever. So it's not like a recent sale. Does not have to be graded. My preference is it for it not to be graded, but if it was graded, it would grade a 8, maybe a 7 and a half again. $20,000 cash is the starting point. It is not the ending point. It all depends on conditions. Uh, and I'm dead serious about it. I want that card. My gut feeling is... Uh, my, my gut feeling is if I don't buy it now, there would never be the possibility to buy it based on how much money I make. I'm um, not saying that I won't make more money than I make today, but... I won't always be a single male, right? Can you imagine if you were married or something and you're like, hey, wife, I need to buy this car for 20000 a minimal of $20,000. That person would probably say no. Maybe if they were non-binary, they probably would say maybe. So a binary person would say yes or no. A non-binary magic player would say maybe. So maybe I should marry a non-binary person. <laughs> okay, back to um, my research. So I saw a graded six for 1800 on TCG player with 99 cents shipping, which I hope that they would ship it better. It's not, I would want something better than that one, but that's not, I think, a unfair price. This card has been sitting there for some time. It's from a reputable buyer. It's already graded, it's slabbed. What's TCG player fees? Is it like 10 or 15% and then eBay or um, PayPal, which would be it? I would give you cash. I'd just straight up give you 20K and $100 notes. So this is $50,000 for an Alpha Lotus, but I don't know what the conditioning of this is on Card Kingdom. There's not many of these, right? So it's kind of subjective. It's going to be more along the lines of what do you feel comfortable selling this card at? I feel comfortable putting out a bid for $20,000 cash. No eBay, none of that. It was me at a chase. Here's a wad of cash. You can put it into the chase. And that's that. I just feel at this time in my life, based on the fact that I own a business, I... I'm not in any type of relationship. As soon as you get in the relationship, I don't think I can make this move, right? It, it would be like what female magic, well, what female 
would say, hey, this is a good, <laughs> let's do it. I don't think anyone would say something that, like that, right? They would be like, nah, dude, we need to buy a car. Because <laughs> $20,000 is the difference between like a Honda Civic and a BMW SUV. I'm okay with a Honda Civic and I'm okay with this car. So if you know anyone, uh, you're, if you know anyone, let me know. Or if you have a card, let me know. Um, I am actively buying it. What I'm going to request is I'm going to request um, multiple photos from multiple angles. Um, I don't want, especially if the card is not graded, that is a big factor because then we have to determine the grade together. I have to say, okay, I think this is an eight. And you have to say, okay, I think this is an eight. Now we can, of course, use a third party to tell us what they, it may be. And it still might. BGS might grade higher, might grade lower. It's always a gamble. But the third party we would use is somebody that you would already know if you watch YouTube. So you can trust them. Uh, and you can ask you know, Rudy or Open Boosters what, car, what grade did you think this card would get. And we'll consider that in the value as well. There's not many... I've always wanted to own this card. Even if it's for a tiny bit of time. Uh, even if I have to sell it, I would like to have ownership of a black border, black lotus, near mint, a near mint, black border, black lotus for at least a moment in time to say, say I have. I, I have no idea what the price is on this stuff. I have done my homework. I've done my research. I think 20000 is a very good deal. I think that's a good deal for me. I just don't know if I can find someone to sell it to me at that price. Uh, but if you want more money, let me know. I mean, that's something that we, if it's a higher grade or it's a higher quality card, then maybe, right? Uh, maybe. So preferably alpha. I know that's a lot to ask. The interesting story about this card is I, it is one of the only cards I have not owned. I've never owned a Black Lotus. I've owned every other card, including Power 9, pretty much, you know, obviously there might be some commons and uncommons, but I would say I'd own most of those too from Arabian Nights, and that's why I have so many of these, quote, valuable old cards. It's because I opened so many packs when I was a younger kid, and I kept my collection. I kept my older collection. I didn't think it would be valuable one day. It's kind of hard to predict that this, uh, you know, any cards in Arabian Nights, what was it? It was like the uh, Judd Hodge Saddle. It's like 40 bucks now. I'm like, what? <laughs> I, I didn't even know it was a rare until recently. I was like, oh, and then the shoes and whatever. I was like, what? It's like 800 bucks. Or the uh, Aladdin's carpet or whatever it is. It's like, what? Like 20. So anyway, you, there's very few times I think in life where you can buy something like this and there's no repercussions to buying it uh, financially and then you just own it. And at that point, you're someone who's owned or has owned in the past a Black Border Black Lotus. Uh, again, everything's cash. We meet in a bank. We take out the cash. We give it to you. You can put it, the cash back into the bank if you want. Or we can write you a check. Whatever you want. Pay, I, I, don't, I don't want to do PayPal. The fees on PayPal for something like this doesn't make sense to do. Uh, we can get it verified. You don't. We can get if you want references, yeah, fair enough, right? Fair enough. So I live in Houston. I would want the deal to go down in Houston. And if it's local, even better. If you're a game store and you have one of these, even better. Because at least then I, it's kind of like levels of trust. So 20000 is the base, but if you provide more, okay, I have... I'm, I own a game store and I have this reputation and we looked at the card together and we've, I physically have held the card. We've shined light all over the card. We've seen the imperfections on the surface and whatnot. We sent it off to Rudy, our open boosters, to our images of it to tell us what they believe the grade would be. And even to the point, if you're comfortable with it, if you have a Black Lotus, we just post it online and then you know we use the mob mentality to see what grade it would get. Of course, we wouldn't post from this channel. We would post from, you know, anonymous channel and pretend to be uh, a person who found this at a garage sale. 
anyway, I am dead serious. Uh, hit me up. Um, hit me up, please, if you have one of these. I feel like if I don't buy it within the next few months, I will never have the chance to buy it. I'm getting older, and there's more responsibilities. This is kind of like the last trip to Las Vegas, right? Yeah, let's do it. Anyway, let me know. Bye, guys.